Welcome back grade 2 students to our science lessons. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am to get back on track with our science lessons. Today we're going to review the savanna habitats. Let's take a minute to review what is a savanna. So a savanna is a land habitat. Let's review together what does the savanna look like. A savanna has tall grasses with a few shrubs and trees. It has a rainy season and a dry season. It is warm all year. These are patterns. Look at the pictures to explore some habitats in a savanna. Now, let's keep in mind that a pattern is something that is repeated. But before we move on to the habitats in a savanna, let's take a minute to review the patterns of a savanna. In each and every savanna, we have tall grasses with a few shrubs and few trees. And each and every savanna has two seasons. We have the rainy season and the dry season. And in a savanna, it is warm all year long. So these are the patterns of a savanna. Each and every savanna has tall grasses with few shrubs and few trees. They have two main seasons. We have the dry season and the rainy season. And it is warm all year long in a savanna. Now let's move on to explore the habitats in a savanna. Now in a savanna we have two main habitats within the grasses and each tree in the savanna is its own habitat. One savanna habitat is within the grasses. This is where small animals make their homes. These animals eat plants, insects and seeds. What do we mean? Well, we all know, as we previously mentioned, that in a savanna we have tall grasses. So small animals could make their homes easily within these grasses, and they eat other plants, insects, and seeds that live within these grasses. Also, each tree in the savanna is its own habitat. The trees have flowers and fruits. Some are a source of water for animals during the dry season. This means that each tree in the savanna is its own habitat. It has its own animals and plants that can live in or grow on. And some animals use these trees to get water during the dry season. Why? Because these trees would have fruits and the fruits have water inside of them. And during the dry season, it's really hard to get water. That's why they would rely on some of these fruits to get the water that they need during the dry season. So how are the savanna habitats alike? Well, they all have a rainy season and a dry season. Let's start within the grasses. Look at the picture to see the plants and animals that live in the grasses of the savanna. So we're gonna check first of all the first habitat in the savanna, which is within the grasses. First of all, we have the buffalo grass. As we can observe in the picture, the buffalo grass can grow up to 3 feet. It grows well in the dry season. It seems to grow at the top of the plant. Next up is a spring hare. A spring hare is an animal and it lives in a burrow. It eats roots, grasses, stems, seeds and leaves. Next up, a pangolin. A pangolin has scales to keep it safe. It hunts ants and termites, and we're gonna check out what are the termites, which are a kind of insects in the slide up next. It gathers them with its sticky tongue. Next up, stinking grass. Well, as its names show, the stinking grass has a bad smell and grows in clumps. Clumps means that the plant or this grass grows in groups. So this means that this grass grows in groups. Animals like the taste of its new leaves. Up next is the mongoose. As we observe over here in the picture, we can check the mongoose. A mongoose eats ants and termites in dry season. It eats beetles and grasshoppers in the rainy season. Next up, last but not least, is the guinea grass. The guinea grass has stem that grows up to 6 feet. When the stems bend and touch the ground, roots and new plants grow. So what are the plants that live within the grasses? Buffalo grass, stinking grass, guinea grass. 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 
Now, what about the animals that live within the grasses? We have spring hare, pangolin, mongoose. Spring hare, pangolin, mongoose. Spring hare, pangolin, mongoose. Keep in mind that we should always remember very well and study very well the names of the plants and animals that live within the grasses in the savanna. And as we can see in this picture, we can check out the termites, which are the insects that the pangolin eats. Also, most importantly, don't forget, well, most of you will be wondering what does the word savanna mean. Savanna means grassland. It means we have really tall grasses, grassland. Thanks a bunch.